Hi guys, Merry Christmas. It's Christmas morning. And I wanted to show you uh, this little guy, Mateo, is not in his Christmas outfit, but he is enjoying a present. This new little wrap with a little matching bunny. I also got it in a rose color. And we have this little boy dressed for Christmas. And Sabby is dressed as the big man himself, teething with his two little teeth. And then we have the other twin, his sister, all dressed. And then this little girl, Alyssa, because of her eyes. She has this. And then, um, going through things that I had bought last year, I found a ton of, like, Christmas passwares. I didn't get to dress all the babies this year, or the Masterpiece dolls or anything, but... Um, I just want to do a quick little share, something I found, a bag full. I got this at TJ Maxx, little reindeer booties and the headband for only $2.50. This is why I shop after the holidays and put it away for the next year. And then at Big Lots, they were doing away with a lot of the baby items, their entire baby section, but um... They had a few Christmas things, and they were 90% off. They were marked $4. They had the monkey with Santa, and these have little snowmen booties. And then, so, um, I can't even do the math this morning. <laughs> Santa's helpers. Santa's helper, me, has been very out straight, so, um, I'm trying to think, it's 10 cents, so it's, what, 40 cents, it's crazy, so I got those, and then another set of those, you can see the snowman better, this is all they had, and then, um, the little penguins with the reindeer, they're made by So Adorable. There's no A in there. And then the gingerbread man with the little polar bears. So even if I don't use them this year, I might, after Christmas when things calm down, um, dress a few babies just for the fun of it to take some pictures and some masterpiece. Don't look at my messy bed. But, <laughs> um... I know I haven't been doing much on my channel about the Reborns. Like, this is one of the pacifiers. Like, I just bought a ton at a discount store that I... I have, like, this whole big bag full of them brand new. Um, and I got, like, the little Nook snowman ones and things like that. Because Christmas pacifiers are very hard to find. And, um, I got this at the end of last year. Some Hallmark singing... Um, I got Mickey Mouse Santa hat, but I got the Hallmark Singing Elf, where you can sing along with the microphone, and so that's when I shop, like, when it gets to, like, 80% off, and things like that, and I buy, like, fiber object angels and things, and I tote and pack them away and protect them, and then the next year, it's, like, all brand new, so... Look at him, he looks like he's blissless, blissfully sleeping. I love this sculpt. This is, he was redone, and a friend of mine did him for me, and then, um, friend that I bought him from, she had gotten him from someone else, and he is Twin B, and what happened was, um, she bought him, and he She's like, there was like barely any lip gloss, no color, nothing. So I sent him to a friend of mine. She had to strip him. And I guess he had some coloration issues. And she did a miraculous job. I mean, you can tell by my skin tones and everything on him. And she knew I was looking for a twin A. And she already had her done in her. 
So I bought her, because she can take um, big passies and everything. And so I had the choice of hair or painted hair. And I said, no, if they're going to be twins and everything. And I love that this kit has the fontanel bone. So I said, you know, leave them bald. And it's funny, right where he has textured painting, but right where a soft spot is, it's soft. There's like no texture. <laughs> so it's funny, like his soft spot is soft. But anyways, the, fr the first friend that I bought the baby from, and then not the um, artist friend that paint repainted him, but just as he was going to come home, unfortunately, um, the friend that I bought the baby from originally, and some other babies, she was a collector. Unfortunately, she passed. Unexpectedly, she came home from the Rose Doll Show and called her husband, said she didn't feel well, and then poof. So, sadly, I they believe um, she had a stroke or something, and she was a wonderful, wonderful part of the community, a wonderful lady, and her name was Susie. I'm going to release her last name, but uh, we've lost some dear members of our reborn community in the last couple of years, and it's sad because, um, but you can still look at their posts and videos, so, you know, their babies and them will live on forever. And anyways, um, so it made him even more special. So, and this baby, I had a friend of mine custom make, and he looks exactly like my oldest son, who's 24, when he was a baby. He had the jet black hair, chubby cheeks, everything reminds me of my son, Stephen, um, because I have two older sons. Stephen is 24, and Kenny is, well, Kenneth, what we call him, Kenny is 21, and I have two, my oldest son has two children, so two grandchildren, and then most of you know Jake, my youngest, he's nine, so, and in between, um, the two oldest and Jake, I had lost two children, I would have a daughter 18, and I would have a son 15, and Mariah and Jacob. That's why I tell everybody make sure you know that Jake's name is just Jake. But um, they wrapped in the cord in utero. It was nothing we could do. Well, my, my daughter they could have saved, but I had a bad doctor. And um, with Jake, I make sure I, I went to the the top notch. They took him three weeks early. He was wrapped three turn times in the cord and three knots. And they saved him and me. He didn't have to go to the NICU, even though he was only 5 pounds, 14 ounces. And my other kids were over 9 pounds. And, um, I've had people ask me, is that why I do the reborns or whatever? I've always just loved babies. And it took a while for, I mean, I didn't even get my first reborn or even introduced into them or anything until after. Um, Jake was, Jake was almost three, so, but, um, years before that, a woman was doing, when they were first starting out, when they were stripping regular dolls, a woman, um, my mother had hired to take a regular doll and try and make it look realistic and give it to me for Christmas, and I said, I'm sorry, I just, I had it, the doll in the house, I just couldn't say that oh, it's like my daughter, I just, and none of my reborns, only ones of my reborns that look like my living children, I, I mean, it's everyone's preference, but for myself, I just couldn't have that image every day, so, um, I mean, I know people have memory babies or whatever, I have, um, babies of, my living children as babies so when they got old enough that and their grand my grandkids get old enough that they can say oh this was dad what dad looked like as a baby or whatever 
and gift it to them when they're more, you know, responsible or whatever. Because my granddaughter Scarlett and I know the the mother chose really off names. My granddaughter is Scarlett <laughs> and my grandson is Cybo. Don't ask. And his initials are SRS. Yeah. So if anyone's old enough, you know, before DCF there was SSRS. So <laughs> anyways, um they're very young. They're four and almost two. So um they're definitely not ready for a reborn or anything. I mean, she has regular play babies, but Anyways, I want to say everyone a Merry Christmas. Didn't want to, like, take a turn on the... Um, but I have a nursery in my house. A bedroom. I'll do another tour. There's, like, 40-something babies. Reborns. And tw over 24, I believe, Masterpiece dolls. And then a few other dolls. So, I'm just going to show you all quickly... This is a white Christmas. We are having a Norwegian, or whatever they call it, storm. And you can't see the snow coming up. Here I go. And this is my roof. I'm gonna, I have the entire top of the house. So this is across the street. And. We're in Vermont, so it is like a blizzard, and we've already got, that's after the roads are plowed, we're about 11 inches now, so, <laughs> we're definitely having a white Christmas, so thank you very much, and as usual, happy calling, and happy holidays.